Hi besties, my name is Chan and in light of a lot of people inquiring about this little guy over here, I decided I would share my progress with infusions. I lost the vision in my right eye not too long ago due to a mysterious COVID complication. There is essentially a benign pseudo tumor of inflammation sitting right behind my eyeball. <laughs> And in an effort to get that inflammation to go down, I've been getting infusions of a medication called rituximab. It essentially shuts down half of your immune system so that it can't attack itself. <laughs> so this is my way of seeing in real time how it's working. Four days post-infusion, we're trying to heal the sky. The day of my second infusion, four days post my second infusion, <laughs> and this is me about three weeks post infusion. <laughs> it looks differently from every angle, of course, but it's a lot less proptotic and the eye pressure has almost completely evened out. Since undergoing that major bummer, I've slowly started surrounding myself with eyeball related paraphernalia. One, because it kind of clues people in to the fact that I don't just have a really bad case of pink eye, which no disrespect to people with really bad pink eye. And two, because it's just funny and slay. Like, what am I gonna do? Actually, I, I could cry about it. It does still cry. There's poetry in there somewhere. Get a load of that bad boy. This is another fan favorite given to me by a friend for my birthday. And more realistic. Honestly, my bestie Renee owns a company called Bella Tumblers and she made me a tumbler completely covered in eyeballs. Phone case, eyeballs. My rug, also eyeballs. This is another ring I want from Little Rooms. And another little cute eyeball necklace from Susan Alexandra, but it's kind of expensive though. If anyone buys this pillow before me, I will start screaming and crying and throwing up. If you guys know of any more eyeball related things I should keep an eye on, uh, uh, definitely let me know.